The only question is whether or not he's being genuine in his plea. And that's the goal of assessing him. Should he receive an exorcism? You're doing this for the money. What? You said he's giving generously to the church. The cardinal has become his friend. That has nothing oh, to do Oh, it has everything to do with it. And he, that man in there, wants to co-opt you. He wants to co-opt us. It is a psychological thr thriller that examines the origins of evil. The second season of Evil just premiered on Paramount+. Plus. And to tell us more, we want to welcome Katya Herbers. She plays Dr. Kristen Bouchard in the show, and she's joining us live this morning. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, I just want to say congratulations on the successful run on CBS. And now, season two, Paramount+. Plus. Yeah, it's really exciting to now be um, a streaming show. I feel like we've kind of been posing as a network show and we were always a streaming show and now we're officially one. So it's really exciting. There it is. So what is new for your character for this season? Oh boy, um, what is it? Everything is kind of, you see a very different Kristen than from the first season. So the first season ends on this huge cliffhanger of did I or did I not kill this serial killer who was after my children? And the second season picks up right where it left off. So anyone who uh, needs a refresher might want to watch that last episode again in preparation for the, the, the first episode of the second season. And um, without spoiling anything, I think that Kristen is in a, a very rough place and she's kind of a, a mystery to herself at, the, at this point and is worried about losing her, her mind. Mm -hmm. um, and also kind of flirting with adultery and just kind of all over the place, which was a wonderful thing to get to play and I think will make the season very interesting. So if anybody wants to catch up, they can still watch season one on Paramount Plus, correct? Yes, it's all on there. So you can binge season one and then go straight into season two. That's my kind of uh, stuff. I, I love binging and <laughs> starting the new, the new season. Um, okay, so how does season two compare to season one? I know you gave us a little bit of taste of it, and we just saw some of the, uh, some of the videos. It's, I mean, yeah. if you're into, like, the blood and all that stuff, this definitely is a show for you. But if you're not, it's still for you, right? Well, I don't think we're that bloody, to be honest. I mean, we're definitely, it has scares. The show is scary. Um, but we're never gory, like awful. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're that kind of a horror show. We're, we're more like a psychological thriller with some real genuine scares, but there's also a lot of light and humor um, in the show. So it really has something for everyone in there. And this season, I think, I mean, the first season was very wild and crazy. And I think the second season might be <laughs> even crazier, which is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. What was an interesting case or theme that you got to work through this season? Well, I mean, our show has, so every episode, it has one storyline, but there's a through line of these characters that for me is the most interesting to play. And um, what was wonderful for for me personally was Kristen trying to hold on to her sanity and trying to, you know, be, stay, be a good mother and be a good wife, yeah. uh, but being tempted by all these things that meant the opposite of that and just trying to stay sane and worried about losing her sanity. Um, where do things stand between Kristen and David in season two? Like, where's that relationship? Yeah, well, I think they have a very genuine attraction to each other, which is both physical but also intellectual. And they're also friends. Um, and I think she's definitely very, very attracted to him, and he's attracted to her. But she also doesn't want to mess up, you know, his life's work that much because he wants to become a priest. But also maybe does she care? Does she maybe think that maybe he should just, you know, go into bed with her? <laughs> <laughs> she is... She's kind of all over the place. She's kind of like just driving a car full speed down a highway without a seatbelt. That's kind of how I feel her mood is at the moment, which makes for really thrilling TV. Yeah, I mean, she's got a lot going on, like many of us. Um, preparing for this character, was this hard for you? Um, sure. I mean, uh, I, I like these extremes. Like, that's what really gets me going as an actor. I, I think it's very exciting when I read something and I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to pull that off? And then I just have to do it. And that, that that's great for me. But it is definitely a very challenging character in the best way. And Robert and Michelle King, the creators of the show, 
have a, a, a track record of writing these amazing female characters, and I think Kristen is definitely one of them, and I'm honored to get to play her. I, I gotta tell you, your acting is 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 amazing, really. It really is. As, as you were saying, like, she's all over the place, but it takes a lot, a lot of preparation to be able to do that, and you make it look so easy, Katya. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. So, again, Evil Season 2 premieres on Paramount+. Plus. So if uh, you haven't seen it, you want to binge it, watch Season 1 and then Season 2.